Hey Eastview kids, how are you today? I am ready to worship. Stand up and join me. I wanna clap my hands. I wanna jump and dance. I'm gonna shout and sing. Thank you God for everything. I wanna clap my hands. I wanna jump and dance. I'm gonna shout and sing. Thank you God for everything. Shout and sing, thank you, God, for everything. I wanna clap my hands, I wanna jump and dance. I'm gonna shout and sing, thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for everything you've done for me. I just wanna shout and sing, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for everything you've done for me. So Jacob had 12 sons and God had a plan to prosper Abraham and Jacob and give them many descendants. Today, we focus on Joseph, who was one of Jacob's sons. God used Joseph's messy life as a part of his plan. Let's check it out. Hey Eastview kids, welcome to my neighborhood. I like hanging out here because I have awesome neighbors and friends like you. I was just getting ready to go see my neighbor. They're always telling awesome true stories from the Bible to help me remember that God has a plan. Come with me. Hey, I brought some friends with me to hear about the true story from the Bible you and I have been reading. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about today's story? Hey there, glad you guys could all join us. We are still at the beginning of the Bible in the book of Genesis. That's in the Old Testament. You ready? Yeah. Now remember, Jacob had stolen his brother's blessing. Thankfully, over time, Jacob had asked for his brother's forgiveness. And by the time our story starts, his name has been changed to Israel. And he had 12 sons. One of the younger boy's name was Joseph. Israel loved Joseph more than all of his other children. And to show his love, he gave Joseph a beautiful robe. Back in Joseph's day, people did not have many clothes. In fact, most of the time, they would have only had maybe one or two very plain colored robes. Only royalty would have fancy and beautiful robes. This robe was a very special gift, and it made Joseph stand out from all the rest of his family. Well, that doesn't sound very fair to Joseph's brothers. What happened next? How did they feel? Well, Joseph's brothers were not too happy that their father loved and favored Joseph. In fact, the Bible says they hated Joseph so much that they could not even speak one kind word to him. And Joseph did not help the situation. You see, Joseph had dreams, but not just any kind of dream. He had dreams where he ruled over his brothers and his father. Instead of keeping those to himself, he kind of bragged about them to his family. 
He told them all about a specific dream where he and his brothers each had a bundle of grain. Joseph's bundle stood up while the others bowed down to him. This dream meant he would rule over his brothers someday, but because he chose to tell them all about it, they hated him even more. This sounds pretty messy. Joseph's dad gave him a robe and not the brothers, and Joseph boasted about his dreams. Yeah, I know, right? Joseph unfortunately kept bragging. He told them about another dream where the sun, the moon, and 11 stars all bowed down to him. That dream meant all of his brothers and parents would bow down to him. The brothers who already hated him now really became jealous of Joseph. They had had enough of Joseph and his dreams. Joseph sure does think he is better than everyone else. Would that be difficult? Well, Joseph was getting himself into quite a mess, bragging and boasting about his dreams. One day, Joseph went to go check on his brothers while they were taking care of the sheep. When his brothers saw Joseph coming, they said, hey, here's the dreamer. And by now, they hated him so much, they actually had planned to kill him. But when his brother Reuben heard of this plan, he stopped the others. He convinced them, instead of killing him, to throw Joseph into an empty well. Then Reuben would come back secretly and rescue Joseph. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they took his beautiful robe from him and threw him in the empty well. But as they were eating their lunch, some traders passed by and they decided to sell Joseph as a slave for eight ounces of silver. Joseph went from being treated special to being treated like a piece of baggage. He was chained up and he had to travel 30 days in the hot desert. Wow, I didn't think his brothers would actually do that. This is really becoming a big mess. Well, you're right about that. And as you can imagine, his brothers did not want to be found out. So they took Joseph's beautiful robe and dipped it in goat's blood and made it look like Joseph had been killed by a wild animal. When his father, Israel, heard Joseph had been killed by a wild animal, he was so upset and so sad he cried for many, many days. Now, of course, we know Joseph was not dead, but that he had been sold as a slave in Egypt. Joseph was only 17 years old when this happened. Now, I know you might be thinking this is all really harsh, and it is, but remember, God still had a big plan here, and Joseph was a big part of that plan. Even though all these bad things happened to Joseph, God was going to make something good come out of it. We're going to learn about that part next week. I can't wait to hear more about this, and I am grateful that God can see way ahead of us. He can take bad things and turn them into good results. And I understand today's big idea now. God has a plan, and it is big. Thanks for sharing today's true story with us. I think we should get some ice cream and talk more about today's Bible story. Let's head to my favorite ice cream shop, Jason's. Well, hey there, I was hoping you'd stop by. I know you love your ice cream. Let's make a deal. I'll ask you some questions about today's story. If you get the questions right, I will let you shake the sprinkles all over your scoop. How's that sound? Here we go. Israel loved Joseph so much, he gave him a special robe or pair of sandals a very special and colorful robe. Which brothers saved Joseph from being killed? Benjamin or Reuben? Reuben saved Joseph from being killed. Joseph had two dreams showing that he ruled over his animals or family. Joseph had two dreams showing that he ruled over his family. Eventually, Joseph was sold as a slave and taken to Egypt or Tarsus. Eventually, Joseph was sold as a slave and taken to Egypt. Wow, that's a delicious looking ice cream. You better get some napkins. Enjoy the rest of the day around the block. Good to see you again. Did you enjoy your last book? Great. Before we get your book checked out today, let's say the memory verse all together.
Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, obey him. Then he will make your paths smooth and straight. Wow, you really know it. Let's say it one more time together. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, obey him. Then he will make your paths smooth and straight. Great! Next week, I have some kids coming to the library. Do you think you can stop by and teach them the memory verse? Thank you. I'll see you then. Glad you came to the park today. We are just about to leave messages all over the sidewalk for people to see. We are going to write it with chalk and say things like, you are awesome, Jesus loves you, and other positive messages. So today I heard you talked about Joseph and what happened to him with his brothers. Can you imagine being Joseph or Joseph's brothers? None of them did the right thing because they thought they knew best. It can be hard to see ahead and think of the bigger picture when you are mad or upset. Like the way Joseph's brothers felt toward him, he was getting attention and gifts from his dad and they weren't. And Joseph bragged about the dreams he was having. When we feel that way, we can turn to God and ask for his wisdom because he can see the bigger picture of his big plan. Kind of a big relief knowing God has a bigger plan and a bigger view than we can ever imagine. God has got this. Wow, these messages look great. Thanks for helping us spread kindness and love to others. See you around, bye. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. There is so much to learn from the Bible. It is so cool that God is always with us. It also helps to have friends like you to join me. Today I learned that God has a plan and it is big. Whether we are like Joseph or his brothers, we can trust that God has got this. His plan is greater than we can ever imagine. Well, I'm gonna talk with my family. See you next time. Hearing about Joseph and his family sounds a lot like other families, mine included. Joseph's brothers made a bad decision by being jealous and then acted poorly when they were jealous. None of our families are perfect and we all make mistakes, but God is always with us and our families. When we feel jealous, we can turn to God. As we close today, let's think about this with some questions. Press pause, read them together, and then have a little chat about it. See you later.